Well, greetings and welcome to The View from the Road. This is my mostly weekly video of the goings on here in Loveland, the Thompson School District. Uh, I'll be talking about something different, but first we'll start with the weather. Oh my goodness, the weather has finally come around. It's, uh, I think we skipped spring, went right to summer. Uh, we're supposed to be hitting uh, 70s, maybe even 80s today. So uh, we'll take it. it. It certainly beats the snow of last week. Uh, normally I talk about what's going on in the school district, but I want to talk about something uh, a bit larger right now. And I'll pose the question, um, and you may not have heard of some or any of these people actually. Uh, what do Greg Fiesel, Sandy Gennaro, and Cowboy Kent Rollins all have in common? Only one of those people is a musician. I'll take them in turn. So uh, folks who have been following uh, you know, stuff that I've written or videos I've made for a while now will know, uh, back in 2021, I took Timothy to the All-Star Game at Coors Field. And uh, there were some fireworks that scared him and we had to leave early. And I you know, wrote one of my essays about that. Well, it reached the desk of Mr. Greg Fiesel, who's the president of the Colorado Rockies. And he's in charge of everything that doesn't happen on the field. And he saw that and really wanted to do something special for Timothy and for me. And so he invited us to be his guests in his own uh, private box, his suite at Coors Field. It's right next to the press box. It was a fantastic day Tim and I had at the ballpark. It was great. Sandy Gennaro. Uh, he's a drummer and he had reached some levels of success and uh, was at a show in uh, Connecticut and was trying to get off to the next stop and there was this guy, he calls it, the story is Dave in the Door, and this guy Dave you know, stopped and said, oh man, I'm a bass player and I, I really, you know, he, he, Dave, uh, Sandy took the time to talk with Dave and, you know, get to know him a little bit, uh, gave him his card and, you know, forwarded on his demo tape to the people that needed it. And nothing ever came of that, but a couple years later, Dave called him up and said, hey, I represent uh, this, this singer and I think you should take a look and she's looking for a drummer. Well, Sandy took the meeting and it turned out that girl was Cindy Lauper. And then that led to being the drummer for Joan Jett. So then we look at Cowboy Kent Rollins. This past weekend, uh, I went with the boys and Jamie to a book signing. Uh, Cowboy Kent Rollins, he's a real chuck wagon cook legitimate cowboy and uh, he's got a YouTube channel and uh, Sammy and I watch a lot of his videos when Sam's in the bathtub well he's doing a, a book tour and he had a stop in Denver we went down to meet him and to you know get to the book signing we saw a little bit of the Q&A the traffic was horrible and uh, Kent uh, said some stuff that resonated and this is going to bring around to the whole point of what I'm talking about because each of these people uh, represent this which is treat everybody with kindness and respect uh, meaning that you know, Greg Fiesel, we, he didn't owe us anything. I mean, who are we? We're not dignitaries, we're not rock stars, we're just fans of baseball. Uh, Sandy Gennaro, I met him at the NASMD conference a few weeks back, and he stu stuck around after he spoke to sign books, he signed a drumstick for Tim to talk, to take pictures. He wasn't going to leave that room until absolutely everybody had gotten the experience that they wanted to and got to interact with him. Cowboy Kent Rollins did the same thing. You know, he signed our book, um, he picked Sam up so we could get a good photo with him and with the boys, and really wanted to make sure that we got to interact with him and got to get out of that experience everything that we needed to, and we did that and more so. I will always love the Colorado Rockies because of what Greg Fiesel did for me. I will always respect Sandy Gennaro and the bands that he's played with because of what he did with that. And I will always uh, enjoy Kent Rollins' videos and making his recipes uh, because he is a real down-to-earth, genuine person. And that is the quality that everyone embodies. Uh, the best way I've ever heard it said is, it's nice to be important, but it's important to be nice. And treating everybody uh, with respect um, when people give you give of their time to you, accepting that with humility and with grace, because that's the only thing that we have that can't ever be gotten back is our time. And uh, it's a great lesson um, that these three people who are at you know, various stages of, of giants within their industry all embody on a day-to-day -day basis. So I just think that's a really great lesson, a really important thing to remember that you know, when uh, yeah, I reach the end of my work day and there's one more person that, you know, is on the phone or needs to rent an instrument or a kid wants to try out something and I just want to get the heck out of there, make the time, take the time, you know, engage with people. It's, uh, it's an important lesson, you know, not just in business but also in life and uh, to treat each other, you know, with, uh, you know, humanity, humility and respect. So anyway, that's the, the conversation we have in my head today out here on the road. As always, uh, comment below. Let me know what you think.
Like, share, subscribe. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch. I do not take that for granted. And I'll catch up with you next time. Thank you for riding along and seeing the view from the road. If you like this video, please share it with a friend. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Facebook and you will never miss a new video. I'm Drew Holmes, owner of Boomer Music Company and educational representative for the Thompson School District in Loveland, Colorado. Thanks for watching.